You're like, hi, what's your name? Let me see your ID. And here's your sticker. Every single day. morning <clears throat> coffee thoughts for this morning um, I went and I voted so I got the sticker because like Lord knows you did not get the sticker you did not vote they're like hi what's your name let me see your ID and here's your sticker um thank you I don't know I think we've um we've got together as a society where um, you have to show every single thing that we do um, which is, you know, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm part of that. And I'm not going to tell, sit here and tell you who I voted for, what I voted for, you know, what my beliefs are. I'm, that's just not my place. Don't you know, there's at least like a hundred willing people on Facebook um, that's in your feed that is like constantly cramming their beliefs down your throat. You know what, Judy? It's not happening. I'm not going to read your post and be like, oh my gosh, my eyes have been opened. Now I know the error of my ways. Stop writing these posts. No one cares. Like even people that believe the same way I do are like killing me. Who the heck wants to read a 14 page post about what you believe in? No one cares. Like literally no one. I mean, they're like 400 page essays of like my same beliefs and I don't even want to read them. And it's all over YouTube, all over YouTube. Every time I turn around, I'm being forced to watch a, a stinking political ad. Like I don't get to pick whether I'm Republican, whether I'm Democrat. I don't get to pick which content I see. No, I have to see a stinking the same five political ads over and over and over. And it's like, why? Why is this being crammed down my throat? I didn't choose to watch this. I'd rather watch the same Pantene commercial 600 times just so I can watch the video that I wanted to see. And let me pick which ones I want to see because I'm tired of seeing these smear campaigns because they're, they're not even cool. Like, they're not funny. I want somebody to, you know what, that's what it is. I want somebody to come out there that's funny, okay? I want a funny person to tell me to vote for them, and that's what I want. I don't want some old crotchety old man who looks like he hates life, who kicks, probably kicks children in his spare time. I don't want something like that. I want a person like me. I want somebody that can go into the office be serious when they want to be serious. And other than that, stop being a crotchety old man. How hard is it? You know what I want to see? I want to see like pics of your kids, like your animals. And which is why I'm on Instagram a lot more. Um, because, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to make a political post on Instagram. I mean, you just scroll right on by. Um, you can scroll right on by on Facebook, too, but it's like, I want to know what you did today. Like, I'm that person. Oh, I am so glad that I read that Sarah made dinner last night. I mean, I'm that person. I'm also that person that will read all 450 comments on a political post and not read the political post because I just want to see the drama that it caused. It is not, honestly, something that I need to be crammed down my throat every stinking election year. It's annoying. That's why people get turned off about voting. They're so sick of hearing about the crap and so tired of listening to the drama that they're just so done with it that they don't even go out there and vote. I'm not sure how many months ago it was, but I made a post and I vowed that that was my last political post I ever going to make because I don't like learning that people that I admire are ignorant. Um, so I keep it to myself because they, maybe they don't like it that I'm ignorant. And, uh, so therefore we clash and we fight and, and, and it's stupid. I won't comment on a on a Facebook post that has any kind of political bounds. I won't like it. I won't, um, nothing. Like I'm going to act like it's not even there because it's a huge, huge rabbit hole waste of my time. 
But you know what isn't a waste of my time? Voting. So I went out and I voted this morning for who I wanted to vote for and the issues that I wanted to vote for. And um, I feel like I did my part. And um, so I, and it's like, you know, people say like, if you don't vote, you don't have any right to gripe. And, and that's true. Like you really don't. But like, I feel as if like, because I voted, I have the right to be disappointed or overjoyed when the things that I voted for mattered. Does that make sense? I don't know. Call me crazy. Maybe I am crazy. I don't know. What do you think in the comments? I don't want a political debate in my comments. But, like, what do you think about the fact that, um, like, has have you ever had your mind changed by a Facebook post or... Um, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm like the minority out there. Maybe like other people have had their lives changed by a F Facebook post or something. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and and also, if you voted, I want to know. Let me know that you voted today um, in the comments. I think it's really cool to go vote. Um, I think you should too. And those are my beliefs. And I'm cramming them down your throat. Coffee's... The coffee is gone, and so are my thoughts. Bye! Every single day.